It was Wednesday. I heard he was coming to Bethany. People talk about stuff like that. People also talk when you break open a bottle of perfume to anoint someone in a crowd. I learned that the hard way. In a few years, they may forget my name, but I'll bet they'll remember what I did. I am the woman who anointed Jesus, and it remains one of the moments in my life that I am most proud of. Jesus was at Simon's house. He often went there when he was in the city, and I knew that. (laughs) We all knew that because we could see them packed in there. It's hard to miss 12 people packed into a room. So before the sun fell, I grabbed my jar of perfume, the only item of wealth I own, and I walked to Simon's. I had begged and saved for years to afford that jar of perfume. It was my backup plan, my safety net when I could no longer work, so I kept it hidden in the cupboard of my house. (laughs) The whole time I was at Simon's, I clutched that jar like a mother holds a baby, terrified that it might slip from my hands too soon, that I might lose the only gift that I had to give accidentally anointing the dirt at my feet instead of the man who had healed so many. It wasn't until I walked through the door that I saw Jesus sitting there that I was able to release my grip on that jar. I had made it. I had my gift. And this was the moment The smell was unbelievable. Sweet milk and honey, even stronger than fresh baked bread. I knew when I had cracked that jar open, it would be overpowering. It would send people into the street, but I had to do it. People criticized me for wasting that perfume, but they don't know the whole story. They don't know what it meant to be seen and to be called by name. Jesus pulled me out of the wilderness of my own isolation. They have no idea the healing that Jesus offered me. And they probably could never understand what I would give to do it all over again. I mean, how do you put a price tag on life? On a full and abundant life? I don't need everyone to understand I just needed him to understand. He gave me the gift of new life. So in return, I gave him the only thing I had. Who is this man, you ask? He was grace embodied. Love set loose. And I'll never be the same.